You do? Yes, I do. Our morning salute today. The story of Sergeant Rex and his Marine handler, Mike Dowling, over the course of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. It's probably impossible to tell how many lives military working dogs have saved. But in his new book, Sergeant Rex, Mike shares the incredible bond he had with Rex serving in war-torn Iraq. Mike Dowling, step up here. Thank you for joining Thank us. You. Take us back to 2004 when you and Rex first deployed. What made him so special? Sure. Back in 2004, I was one of 12 military working dog teams in the Marine Corps that went to the uh, front lines of Iraq to help search for IEDs. We were embedded with infantry units all over the country, and it hadn't been done in about 30 years since Vietnam. And uh, the thing was, we had never trained with any of the infantry prior to deploying. Mm. So we were all just kind of figuring it out for the future military working dog teams, and we were kind of the guinea pigs. So. Now, you guys ended up in a two and a half hour firefight in Fallujah. Talk to us about that. Yeah, you know, training up to uh, the deployment, we train as much as we can, we can around loud noises, and Rex did not like those right. uh, whatsoever. And I was actually scared how he would react in a gunfight um, or in a firefight. And when we actually got in our first firefight, he reacted amazingly well. He, he obeyed every single command. He did very, very well. The first fight we ever got into was in Fallujah, and, which was a bad time in 2004, bad area. And uh, it lasted over two and a half hours. Wow. But thankfully, you know, trust in your dog. They train you to trust in your dog. He reacted very well, and I was extremely proud of him. And Impossible to say how many lives he saved uh, over the course of his life, isn't it? Yeah, well, the, the average military working dog, they say, um, on estimates, save around uh, about 100 lives just per working dog. You know, back in Vietnam, they estimated they saved over 10,000 lives, wow. uh, and that's a conservative number. Um, so they really, imp you know, make a humongous impact. You tell, I'm telling you, in this book, you're, look at the pictures here. You're going to hear the stories, read about the stories that these two went through. It's just amazing. And we want to tell, tell you, everybody, that the story ends well, is that Rex is now up at Camp Pendleton. He's the longest-serving military working dog at Camp Pendleton, isn't he? Uh, yeah, currently at Camp Pendleton. He's done three combat deployments, uh, all back-to-back -back in 2004, 2005, and 2006, all to Ramadi or Fallujah, Iraq. Uh, he's found hundreds of caches, weapons, uh, explosives. He's done presidential security. He actually unofficially has a Purple Heart. Uh, he's been wounded in an IED blast and survived. He just still keeps ticking. That's awesome. Okay, yeah. book signing today at Miramar, tomorrow at MCRD. Yeah, 11 to 1. Mike Dowling, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Jason. This is it. Sergeant Rex, pick up a copy. Great read. Okay, Rory, back over to you. The Morning Salute is sponsored by Ashford University. Duty.